idea behind this whole thing is that you're learning that you can layer the watercolors one color on top of an already dry color. Um, a lot of people have used um, hair dryers in the middle to speed up the process. What I'm hoping that you're going to do is you're going to be able to layer a color over top of an already dry area and you'll see that a third color was mixed where where it crossed, where it intersected. So there's one. I'm going to show you some that work and some that don't work as well. Here's one that maybe it's not exactly. They did such dark colors that it didn't work as well as I think that they thought it was going to work. There's no color over top of another color. It's just all too dark. So I want you to have light. Choose some colors and do light and dark values of that. This one right here is a really good example of this project. It was very intense. It doesn't have to be this involved, but this is lovely. It's like a lot of crossing. There's a lot of intersection. There's a lot of different colors that are being made where the colors are crossing. Um, but there's, this is exactly what I'm looking for. All right, we're gonna try one. It may not be as involved as that one, but we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water. I'm gonna pick up, I guess I'll start with a yellow. Do not wet the paper first on this one. You can have your brush wet if you wanna do I'm gonna do some lines going across. Notice that if you just pull with your arm and not your hand, you'll have a straighter shot of a um, line. That was yellow straight out of the palette. This is yellow mixed um, with some water. So I'm planning on using yellow and this pink color. I'm not really creating a pattern, but because um, I'm not going to maintain what I already started, but I am going to cross this after it's dry. I could put a third color in there if I want. I am trying to make dark and light and thick and thin lines, so it's kind of like your first block. Clean my brush, go back to the yellow. I'll make a wide one here. A soft yellow. Maybe a really dark one here. I could go with a third color. Um, I'll put a blue, I guess. No, what these colors are going to look like together. I'm still using the same brush. You could switch and use different you could use different um, size brushes if you had a wide one or if you had a really skinny one. I'll try to make this a lighter blue. I went too light with that. Okay. So those are my colors. I would ask that you stop and let this dry. So I'm gonna cut this off and pick it back up. And then after it's completely dry, I'm gonna come back across. Do not do it right now. Yes, it's possible, but don't do it because you want it to be dry. Some people might wanna use a hair dryer here. I'm probably gonna go set this over on the heater so that I can finish it for you today. Um, let's go back and look. There's my salt. I can see it acting in there. I can see this drying and revealing the white. And then I'm going to cut this off and go and dry that.